Hi everyone, it's Cross aka Blaytaka, and it is time for this week's haul video. It is June 18th, and I did pretty well this week, especially yesterday. Today was a little disappointing driving all the way up to Big Bay, but uh, the sadness was the main church that usually has it wasn't open because there was a service going on. Uh, but what can you do? So I did get a lot of cool things and some really good be on the lookouts for. Um, I'm going to start with the things I have on the floor. Now, normally I don't buy oil lamps. But, since this was one of these, like, face mug things turned into one. Although I do think it was actually designed for this because this fits way too well for that to be just jimmied on there. It's really excellent, but I can never resist... A pottery piece with a look like that on it, especially with the tongue sticking out. Um, it is signed, but I can't read the signature right now. So I did pay five for that. And paid a dollar for these two little juice orange juice glasses. I'll sell those as a set. I got charged. 50 cents a glass for some cartoon glasses. Three of them are not here because they're repeat patterns. So we had two of the fun shine bears, two of the cheer bears. And I may have to rearrange in order to keep one set of those for myself to go with my tender heart one I picked up last month. And then I got one of these Camp Snoopy ones and two of this one where chaos is happening. So we'll see. I have a few of the peanuts can't soupy ones myself, so we will see. Then my actually first score of the week for $3.50, this Grogu the Child Mandalorian backpack that says the force is strong with this little one. And it kind of has like feeling, but the attention to detail is grand. And the only thing wrong with it is a few loose threads that I think that way to begin with. But do you see that pattern in there? More of the baby Yoda. And uh, this section has a little bit of the desert background inside. So, but it's got several pockets in that. If there's nothing else even if I did was find a kid who needed a backpack in the fall, I did well. But I figured this will fit in a flat rate, uh, not flat rate, but a priority mail box. Because it's definitely going to be over two pounds anyway. So, but it squishes nicely. I have one more thing on the floor. I'm going to wait till I clear off a section of the bed. And I'll probably end with that because it's a lot of things. Uh... Snake this for four. Actually, most of the things I grabbed this day were 10% off Ida from donating coupon. But uh, this may come in handy sooner than I thought because we just tried to clean the other one and it really didn't clean that well. Um, so, but it's kind of a couple years old already. So this might come in handy sooner rather than later. I picked up this. I don't normally do amber glass. Um, but for a dollar, it still had its Pilgrim glass label on it, and it is definitely hand-blown. And then, just because it had a bird on it, got this vase, it also has a butterfly, and it looks like thistles on it. And it is actually marked Bavaria Edbethal. Can't tell if that's a C or a double E. Uh, qu quality porcelain, West Germany. So we can date that pretty well. I thought that was pretty. I picked up for 99 cents an old Heathcliff, and I will sell this one because I double checked my little album thing on my phone and I have a smaller version of this already. So, and then I finally found a hand painted Nippon piece for not a whole bunch of money, 75 cents. Most of them around here, everyone like triples that price at least, if not $20. And this one's marked W Rose, but pretty dish. It's a little dirty, 
yeah, it's definitely needs a good cleaning, but. And then at that same sale, I got this cute kidney bean shaped ashtray with this great atomic feel and yellow. And it is Treasure Craft, marked 1963, made in the USA. And I didn't see a huge bunch of chipping. There's just some little tiny bits of glaze glass here and there. But it's also pretty big, the size of my head, big. But you could also use this as a trinket dish. It's a really nice size. And I don't want to forget this. All right, so this was my surprise. I paid three, which was well worth it. But seeing what it says on here, you'd think I'd be getting Skylanders things. When you start, yeah, got a Skylanders portal base. Got a Skylanders game for the Wii. Game still in there. Got the Skylanders Giants cards. And then figures. But none of these are Skylanders figures. These are all Disney Infinity fi figures. Which might make me amend... My last week when I found a, a Disney Infinity Portal base and game with a few figurines that I kept, I might be able to put some of them with that, amend the, the, the auction, or not the auction, the uh, listing, and add the ones I don't have. But I'm going to keep this one because I already have her brother and father, and, and I'm looking for her mom now, Elastigirl. So I will keep Violet. There is more, including the biggest find of my life. We've got Anna. We got Iron Man, who I will likely keep. Thor. Uh, I assume that's something you need to get the portal to work. Uh, 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 a race car from Cars. A Jack Sparrow. I already have this one, so I will. Uh, a Mater. Gosh, a cute Mater. Uh, Rapunzel. Vanellope. Randall. And, and a lot of these have obviously been stored together, and some of them have some, like, rub off of the others. So they're not in perfect condition. I have no idea if they work in the game because I never collect these for working in the game. So uh, I've got Woody, a Jack whose head looks like it's been colorized by everyone else. Uh, a Mickey as the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Dash. This is like the third time I found this figure. So I have one up on a listing. Uh, Black Widow. Bracket Ralph, I do already have this one myself, and I do have Sully from Monsters, and I have Mikey. So, uh, now we have Elsa, looking all fierce. Another component piece, that's an Avengers one. I already have this one. And then we have the one that looks the most wrecked, uh, the villain from Incredibles, whose name escapes me, but still have the lining in there. I figure I can get my three bucks back on the bag and the portal in the game. Um, but for three dollars, all those figures. But I was really shocked because I did not check it, other than it was a check that that was actually figures underneath. But I didn't even look to see what kind of figures. So apparently, someone's mom or dad put it away. And I'm going to assume at some point a similar set of Disney Infinity is going to show up with all the Skylanders figures in it. But. Alright. And. My find of the week. And then I still do have more than this. But. This is my absolute gorgeous find of the week. It is a fox. And I paid up for him. I don't normally pay for it. But I figured he was a larger figurine. I'd pay up to two for a good quality porcelain. So I went with my gut and did it. I get back to the car. I notice it's some Jonathan Adler. I'm like, oh, cool. I look it up. I find some ornaments that are way smaller than this. And they're selling for 30. So then I'm like, well, I can't find out on eBay. So I went to my valuer page. And the last two that sold, one sold last year for 260 and happens to be someone in my group because I posted this to my group. And she's like, oh, that's my listing. I had it on auction twice. It took the second time to sell. And then the other one sold for 300 the year before. 
So for four dollars, and it's in perfect condition, which is why I'm going to set it very gently down on the floor now. <sighs> but I felt like that was karma because you know how I always donate part of my sales to animal charities. Well, I already went ahead and donated like twenty five dollars to a fox that needed surgery that got hit by a car locally. They've nicknamed him Galoshes. And so I feel like that's me immediately getting my money back because if I sell it for two fifty, dollars that's normally what I would have put aside for it. Um, <laughs> it was about 10% is usually what I do. So I thought that was cool. Uh, got this for $0.50, cents, a little Pillsbury Doughboy Bank. I didn't bother to see what year it was. Uh, 19. Yeah, that's impossible to read. Yeah, that 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 is not going to be likely, but for 50 cents. Picked this up for 50 cents. Just a cute vintage kitty cat with some nice detailing. Although there is a hole, which I assume happened in the process because there's one on the bottom, which makes sense, but normally you don't find them at the top. But she's got that little hole there, but she's precious. And uh, this I paid up for. I paid four, but I will probably now sell the uh, similar one by Miss Steel by the Steel family. Uh, this is a, a Great Lakes uh, Good Luck Superior Central. And you will remember I originally found them at the big base sale, that church sale. I found three of them. They're all naked. I sold them as a lot. And then I found three more and I sold them individually. I still have the golf guy listed and I already sold the other guy, but I was keeping the fishing guy, you know, just to keep one of their trolls um, next to my other fisherman, my, my mudman. But I am really liking him more than the fisherman. He has a bit more character. I love his gold earring um, and the way his legs are all flip-flopped and crossed together. He, he definitely feels like he'd be the bi or slash gay troll for some reason to me. And it's not just the earring. It's that like there's a running joke that you can't sit properly in any chair in any way. So <laughs> that's what that reminds me of. So that one's probably mine. Before I forget, I'm going to do this very carefully. I don't know if I couldn't even legally sell this, but it's confusing the hell out of me. There's a little damage on the stand, but I definitely want the stand, but you can see that's definitely a predator. And there's definitely a predator on the Shishuken or throwing star. But what confuses me is every throwing star I've seen in the movies has been five blades. So, but this is definitely an official one because it definitely has the predator on it. But I only paid 50 cents, but it is actually very sharp. So I'm going to put it back down now before I cut myself. Um, it says 12, but it was half off when I got to it. So I only paid six. This is technically Ayadro. Uh, this is a female golfer mid swing, but it is the now division of it. And a W I sold the duck from this division before, I think. So I believe she sells anywhere around the $50 mark. So yeah, I paid up a little, but she was in great shape and I figured golf is big. So and I got this at Goodwill. I paid $3.99 minus 10%. Um, but it is definitely modern. It is a Temptations piece, but it's in perfect condition. It's blue polka dot and most are selling between $30 and $40. So, well, yeah, Temptations by Tara, but this is the polka dot blue, white with blue. So, but again, chicken theme. Uh, this I bought out of pure desperation of being in the middle of nowhere and wanting to pay for gas. So I bid $2. There was another one there that was in slightly dirtier, worse shape. I mean, he's got a bit of discoloration on his gloves and hand, but she's looking good. And it's just a dispenser for candy in the shape of a jukebox where you push the top thing and it releases an amount. But not something I weigh about every day because it is a little bigger and cumbersome, but I was getting desperate. I also, for a quarter, different sale, got this little red M&M plush that you can hang off of something. Got a little schmutz on him, I think. Uh, picked up this for 50 cents. Little uh, 
Mumu uh, drinking sippy cup. I have sold the creamer version of this before. It should be by Warren. And Warren Prince of Ellen by Whirly. Yep, Whirly. And then I picked this up because it was just funny. Normally I like plaques with some sort of design, but this pretty much says it all. Okay, if a man has enough horse sense to treat his wife like a thoroughbred, she will never grow into an old nag. It was just too funny to pass up. And then I bought this at the same sale I got the face mug at. And what was great was he had something very similar at the end of his driveway um, <laughs> in large form. So I paid a dollar for it. I haven't been able to find any like sticker or signature on it. Um, but I think it's a snowboarding be beaver because we've got like this big tail. It's definitely one board and he's got big buck teeth, but he's hilarious. And I think that is all I got, but definitely a very wide variety, but this is most definitely the find of my year probably. If this sells like that, I'll be in shock. The only other thing I found even close was that uh, Butchie Dog that has not sold yet. It's been listed almost a year. Um, that was valued when I listed it between like 200 and 250. Uh, <laughs> haven't gotten any really quality offers on it either, but, um, and I, but yeah, this box is everything. And gently down. All right, well, I will put my links for my Etsy and eBay trash catcher treasure stores down below. Again, if you uh, don't see anything that I said would be for sale listed, just message me on one of those sites and I will let you know when it will be listed or if it broke or something in between. I hope not because I did have that one creamer break the other week. All right, thanks for watching.